Hi, Mama G. Mama G. Woman's a saint. She's also the boss. Boss lady. She comes around, we all get quiet. <laughs> Welcome back. We are here on a Saturday, beautiful Saturday morning afternoon, and we're going to train some uh, shoulders, triceps, and just a little bit of chest today. Um, probably going to start rear delts. I like starting rear delts. I don't feel my shoulders need uh, much growth to them. I just think they just need to be touched. Um, so we're going to start rear delts, probably going to a side. Um, and then probably do another side, or maybe a front, and then end with press. I don't, like like I said, I don't think I need too much overall size on the delts area. Just more roundness to them, possibly. Um, I don't think they need much growth, so I'll save the pressing for last. Um, just hit something for chest. I'm a guy. No, I'm just kidding. Hit something for chest, just to give it a quick little pump. Um, and then a couple tricep movements, probably a press down, some overhead. Um, and then maybe like a single arm, and we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, time to pump it up. All right, so first exercise, we're gonna do the reverse pike deck for the rear delt. Like I always said, I like to keep these in the higher rep range, so we're gonna hit a couple, couple of sets to warm up to see how it feels, and then do about three sets of 20 to 30 reps, and then probably end with a good amount of partials. the rest periods a little shorter, even for shorters in general. I just feel like they get better growth, better activation, a little more shorter rest periods, so. Especially for right out. Ugh. <sighs> 
20 reps. I did a rest pause set. I got 33 reps, I think, by the end. Rested a little longer. And then about like 12 to 15 partials right there. All right, so second exercise is gonna be the side backs. Seated side lateral. Also pretty much chest supported. So you really can't do nothing but hit that side delt, which is the main thing here. This is probably my favorite uh, side delt exercise. So. I could do a whole workout on here and be happy. So we're gonna do a lot of sets here. Third movement, we're gonna do a cable front raise using a straight bar. Really hit the front delt here. Really burn it out so by the time I get the presses, I won't have to go so heavy and I can just focus more on concentration and worrying about pushing weight. All right, so fourth movement we're gonna do now is a dumbbell shoulder press. I put this fourth, like I said, just to move because I wanted to fry the entire muscle, fatigue it before we get to pressing. And what shows will probably allow me to do is, I won't be able to go as heavy, which is fine, I'll save my joints, but I'll probably be able to connect with the muscle better without going as heavy.
As you can see, within the movement, I'm doing a slow negative. I'm doing a slight pause at the bottom too, just to hold a little more tension. I know you guys used to see me lift 150 pound dumbbell shoulder presses, 200 pound dumbbell shoulder presses. I don't need that anymore. There's no point. I don't even think I grew from it, except it hurt my joints more. Fourth movement. Yeah, fourth movement, 100 pound shoulder press, 100 pound, yeah, and I feel these way more in my shoulder than the other heavy shit. You didn't grow from that if you think you do. You grow from focusing on the muscle and not moving weight. Keeps you nice and concentrated, which is what I like. Maybe. If you could fit in it. Maybe. That's what we went today. Just hit some uh, some cable flies, cable press, whatever you want to call them. I got the right weight on it. for that just quick little pump three sets 12 to 15 reps just keep it keep it nice and full so first tricep movement we're going to use this type of uh, attachment 
It's almost like using a rope. Except for me, when I use a rope, I feel like my hands are gonna slip off. So with these, keep them nice and intact, and I'm able to spread them just as easy as if I was using a rope. Second exercise for triceps is going to be uh, skull crushers. We got 45s on each side. About three sets, 10 to 12 here. Same thing you see me doing the shoulder press. I'm going real slow on the negative. I'm doing a slight pause at the bottom just to enhance the tension on the stretch, which will force me to not go as heavy and just force more contraction on the muscle, which in return will give me growth without hurting my elbows. Third movement, which should be the last movement, is the easy bar uh, push downs. Do a little Jake Cutler style and lean over and see if it makes a difference. So, this way works, the other way works, <laughs> whatever way you prefer. You can't go a little heavier though, I feel. There's no way I'd go that heavy doing it my way.
so good, yeah. So, being bent over, being straight up and down. You know, when you're bent over, you can go a little heavier, but still feel it just as good. So, whichever you prefer. I like both. Alternate, whatever. But, that concludes chest, so no, shoulder, a little bit of chest and tricep workout. Just to recap it, um, started with a reverse pec deck, did about three sets, 20, with a rest pose on the last set, into partials to finish. Went on to the side back, um, side lateral machine, did about three sets of 15 there, into a drop as well. One drop and a rest pause on that drop. Cable front raises. Three sets, 10 to 12, into an also drop. Um, dumbbell shoulder press, three sets, 10 to 12. And then that seated side ladder, I don't really know the true name of it, but we did three sets there, 10 to 12. And then we went on to the seated cable fly machine just to put blood into the chest. There were three sets, 12 to 15. Tricep, um, rope, not rope, but whatever attachment that was, push down. Three sets, uh, 15 to 20 into a drop. We did uh, skull crushers with a very slow negative and I'll pause at the bottom. Three sets, um, 10 to 12. And then the easy bar push downs. Three sets, 12 to 15 with a drop. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of volume today. Um, which again, I just feel that works really well for me. And I feel like it's been working really well. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm getting more rounder, more fuller. I feel like my strength is coming back just the same as if I was doing low volume. And I'm staying a lot leaner. My waist is staying really tight. So I don't know if that has to do with the training or not, but I'm happy with the way things are going, so like I, like I keep saying, I'm just going to keep going, keep riding this out, keep having fun, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for always subscribing and staying tuned and watching all my videos.